Hey dorks, Brick Dork here. Uh, I'm going to tell you about my first ever BrickLink experience. Some of you might know I'm fairly new to the whole LEGO community and I want to do a mock. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet because I kind of want it to be a little surprise. Um, anyways, everybody says the easiest way to get bricks in a good size and quantity um, is through BrickLink. New stuff, all sorts of different kinds of bricks that you can get on there. Um, so, I gave it a whirl. Uh, if you are new to BrickLink, play with it for like a week or two. Make, you know, a ton of shopping carts and then empty them all out. Just so you can get familiar with what you're actually purchasing and looking at. Uh, I did get my shipment through Bricks Without Mortar out of... Kansas, I believe. I believe it's out of Kansas. It's USA bound. I didn't do anything overseas because um, this is my first order. I don't need that kind of hassle already. But probably further down the line, that's something that I would be comfortable doing, ordering from somebody in you know, Sweden or Germany or something like that. Um, so the process was fairly simple. Most of you have already, have already ordered off of there or you already know how it works. But um, put my order in. Got my invoice, paid my invoice, and then it was probably a total of, I want to say five days from the date I put my order in um, to it shipping to my door, and that was actually today. Uh, so yeah, pretty much it's simple. I have PayPal. If you don't have PayPal, I don't know how easy it is. Um, so I would say get a PayPal account, throw some money in there, and then use that for your BrickLink. Because it was, it was super painless. Um, let me show you what I, what I got, alright? Okay, dorks. This is my BrickLink haul. Got it all from the same person so I could reduce uh, shipping costs and whatnot. Um, blah, threw those in the wrong spot. How about I angle this? We got some grass pieces, the little flower stems, and then some just regular old green leafies. Got a few of those. I didn't make this order huge because, like I said, this was my first order, and I didn't want to, you know, jack it all up and then miss out on a bunch of stuff. But then I got some trans studs in the dark blue, the light blue, and clear. So you can probably tell there's going to be some landscaping involved in my mock. Alright. Next. You can't have water without some dark tan and sandy pieces. Tan and sand. Tan and... That dark tan and tan. So I got some fun... Fun curvatured pieces. And then... Oof. This one, this baggie split open, but hey, that's what happens. A brand new Lego is sharp, so I got a bunch of dark tan and tan plates for my beach, and then I've got some dark. Oh yeah, I missed these. A couple more little plates. Um, dark. Which Majiggy? Bluish gray. I can't remember what it is. I'm so bad at this stuff. Um, slopes. I got these these bricks that have the little slope on them. And then some regular slopes. So there's going to be some, some rockscape, some water, some land, maybe some kind of fortress or like a bay with some cannonballs but anyways that's what I got from BrickLink so time to wrap this thing up so if I had to rate my overall experience with BrickLink it would be fantastic um, didn't have any issues it was fast it was cheaper than buying on the the shop Lego website more variety um, a, like I said a tip would be make sure you have a PayPal account uh, search around for what you're buying the most of, which might be the most expensive piece, 
and see if you can find it for the cheapest and if that shop has a bunch of other stuff that you're going to get anyways. Um, that way you can save yourself some money instead of making, you know, 10 or 12 little uh, purchases from different places and paying shipping on each one potentially. Then you just order from one place. So um, I think my total shipping charge for that was like three bucks. So I mean, if you try and if you try and order that from a bunch of different places, you're probably going to pay at least three dollars per shipment. Um, so you'd have to save a lot per piece in order for it to to equal that three dollars, especially if you you know buy from seven or eight different places. I mean, so. Buy, buy a lot from one person is my suggestion. That's about it. Anyways, uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Um, I still have my contest going on. I can't get to 100 subs. I'm trying to give shit away. So uh, go check out my videos. I've got that still going on. Enter into the contest. It's free. You don't have to do anything except for sub to my channel and make a comment on what your favorite LEGO Star Wars thing is in that video, not this video. Go to that one. I'll try and link it in the description. I'm still a little bad at that kind of stuff. So, anyways, dorks, I am the dork of bricks. I'm signing off.